Bearded dragons, or beardies for short, are a kind of lizard that are small to medium size with a flat muscle body. These lizards can live up to 12 to 14 years in captivity. They belong to the Pagana genus of reptiles in the family Achimd. The genus consists of eight total species which are all referred to as bearded dragons. The one we most commonly see and the one that is most popular among pet owners is the Pagana vadiceps, or the central bearded dragon. The beardies are native to Australia and can be found scattered across the continent. These lizards prefer areas with warm and arid climates, such as deserts, subtropical woodlands, savannas, and scrublands. It's important to keep the beardies in a warm habitat because they are cold-blooded creatures and mainly rely on external heating to maintain their body temperatures. To warm themselves, they usually lie under the sun and will burrow underground if it gets too hot or to hide from predators. They are semi-arboreal and so they can be found chilling on fences or tree branches. There's a reason why bearded dragons are popular as pets. They are gentle and quiet in nature. Taking care of and managing them is easy as well. They also actually enjoy being handled. So don't worry about them trying to escape from your hands. As for safety, they are safe to keep as pets because they almost never attack or harm their owner. They usually only become aggressive when hunting for food or are in on the presence of a bigger animal. But generally, Beardies don't become aggressive or attack even when they are threatened. They'll instead just freeze, fluff their throat, and change color to make themselves look intimidating or just run away. Although they won't always attack when threatened, sometimes when they get stressed, they could feel provoked and become aggressive. As a result, they may bite or attack. This isn't very common, so no need to worry. They could also bite your finger, sometimes mistaking it for food to just make sure to keep it well fed. Now. When you do get bitten by a bearded dragon, it's important to stay calm. First and foremost, don't make any sudden movements or raise your hand, because the lizard might just tighten its grip and make it worse. What you should do is to calmly support the lizard and use your free hands to gently open its mouth to free your other hand. Their bites could cause swelling and bleeding, but no long-term or persistent consequences or side effects. The bites might hurt, but it's not as painful as a dog or cat bite. If anything, their scratches would hurt more than their bites would. Studies have also found that bearded dragons produce venom, but this venom is completely mild and harmless to humans and most other animals, so there's no need to worry about getting poisoned. Just make sure to wash your hands, because a bearded dragon's mouth is known to carry salmonella bacteria, which could cause intestinal problems when it comes to bites. A tetanus shot might be required if you haven't taken one in the past five years. In general, bearded dragons aren't dangerous animals and pose just as much threat as having a cat or a dog would. A wild beardy is territorial and will display aggression to defend its turf from other males, so it's never a good idea to have two bearded dragons together in a single habitat, as they may attack each other frequently to assert dominance or hog all the food. Aside from changing color to show aggression, they also change color to communicate. A quick head bub usually means dominance, while slower headband arm wave shows signs of submission. The best way to avoid ever getting bitten is to look out for any signs of aggressive behavior in your beardy. Recognizing aggressive behavior is very beneficial to avoid bites of any sort. The most common signs are puffing up their throat and beard, changing into a darker shade entirely or just on the beard. These actions are also usually accompanied by a hiss. If you notice your lizard doing any of these, then it's better to just leave it alone and not disturb it while it's in the state. If it shows these signs while it's being handled, then just gently place it back into its habitat or tank. But if you wish to strengthen your bond with your pet, then it is said in case of these pets, handling them in spite of them showing aggressive behavior may bring them closer to you and build more trust. But to stay safe, it's better to do so when wearing protective gloves like gardening gloves to protect yourself from injury is resulting from attacking. So that's it for today. If you like this video then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching.